Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be working on the Camaro here. Or should I say, rather, the engine for the Camaro. Uh, we're gonna be taking the oil pan off the Camaro's old engine and transferring it over to the new one. This will also give us the opportunity to torque down the main crank and uh, uh, I'm just gonna be seating it on there. I'm not gonna be uh, permanently keeping it on. Uh, we do need to add a oil return uh, bung onto this oil pan because down the road we will be turboing the uh, Camaro's engine, so uh, we just want to put that in place so it'll just be a lot easier, a lot easier process to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this raised and start taking out the uh, bolts. Actually, I might start on this one because we want to swap it right back on here so we can lower it down and whatnot. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started on that. I got the uh, got the engine hoist here all set up, all ready to go. Uh, the old engine strapped in, so uh, I'm just going to lift it a little bit, just enough to get to the oil pan bolts and get it off uh, and go from there. So I'm actually not too certain what size bolts these are. Uh, I did have some trouble with uh, some of them. The closest socket I can get, or actually the only one that fits on there and actually bites is 3 8 but it still feels too big, so um, I'm not entirely sure what the actual uh, bolt size is. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get this off here for this uh, oil pan. Nothing was really, I mean, nothing was in it. We cleaned it up. So uh, we're going to go ahead and transfer this one to the Camaro. Uh, also, we, this is our new oil pan gasket, so we'll just leave this here and go ahead and get everything all set on there. So before I lift this, I'm going to get all the bolts I can while it's sat down like this. So that'll limit the time it has to be in the air for me to do that. Also, the pan is super dirty. Also, when Tristan uh, had this in the Camaro, one time he uh, lifted up the engine by the oil pan, so it kind of dented it a little bit. So we're going to have to uh, probably just flatten it out. It's not super bad, it's just right at the bottom. It'll be easy to hammer out with a mallet or something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the bolts on here, lift it up, loosen the rest of the bolts, take it off, get the that oil pan on here, maybe just a couple bolts. We don't need all of them in there, um, and then lower it back down just so we can do it all safely. And uh, then we'll assess that oil pan, see about cleaning it. It's probably going to have oil in it. Uh, we did drain the oil, but um, there's obviously going to be just a teeny bit of res residual stuff, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Also, these are barely hanging on, too. Some of these are just hand tight. Camaro definitely had a uh, oil leak. <laughs> Glass bolts are at a pretty bad angle, so I'm going to go ahead and start lifting this. Yep, and then one last. There you have it, and that's the uh, old oil pan. I'm gonna go ahead and get it drained. Uh, you can see under here, hopefully. Rotating assembly of the old Camaro. I mean, basically the same thing that we saw when uh, we took apart the, uh, when we took apart the Grand Prix engine. I actually might wanna steal this oil pickup too, because ours had a little bit of a mesh issue. I might actually take it off and compare them 
before I go ahead with all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I took the uh, oil uh, feed from that engine off because I am gonna be using the Camaros. It does look a little bit slightly different. Um, and also it looks like a better design. Also ours is really hard to see here, but it's it's really bad condition here. You can see there's like a little bit of a dent in it and there is a part of the grate that is broken too. So um, the other one has like a cap over this too. So just better design. So I got that cleaned up. Uh, Isaiah has decided to grace me with his presence while I I uh, live in the fucking garage. I have graced you with my presence and this YouTube video with my presence. Now I shall make my leave. And they must leave a like for him. Thank you. Put a put a D in the in the comments. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this oil tube on here and then the uh, Grand Prix um, oil pan on there and close it up and uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're done with this engine. There might be miscellaneous bolts that we need to take off of it, but it's probably time just to sell it and get it out of the garage. So this is what I was talking about with the uh, oil filter from the Camaro. Um, it, does, it is just a little bit different shape uh, compared to the other one. Also has this uh, tin film over it, I'm not sure. Uh, but I went ahead and I cleaned it out and dried it. So it's all good to go on the uh, new engine for the Camaro. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the oil pan on the engine here. I have it all lined up, ready to go. Uh, that oil, the old one on the Camaro now, so I'm going to go ahead and lift it up and get a screw in there. All right, uh, now that I have all the bolts back in the oil pan for this Camaro engine, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the ground and uh, start working on the new Camaro's engine. All right, got the engine. Back on the ground, I'm gonna take off the strap. Now I can turn my attention to the new engine and uh, get the crank finally torqued down to spec. Once I have that done, I'll put the new oil pickup tube on. And uh, I don't think I'll have time today, but we do need to clean out the uh, old oil pan or the Camaro's oil pan uh, to put on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wor working on that. One thing I did forget to mention is uh, I did get the uh, uh, dipstick removed as well from the oil pan so that should be good to transfer to the new motor as well. Alright guys I'm gonna go ahead and torque the main crank bolt down. Uh, it is 111 foot-pounds plus 76 degrees. Uh, I do have a degree thing. We did that when we uh, torqued down the the rods, the rod caps. Um, so it'll be pretty easy. I'm just gonna wedge my pry bar in between here so it doesn't rotate the engine. Uh, that way I can get it all torqued and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil pan gasket, the, it's kind of hard to see over there, but the oil pickup tube goes right there. Uh, get that bolted down and then I'm not gonna be able to put the that on just yet. I do need to clean it out, um, but very close to getting the oil pan on and this ready to go on to the Camaro. All right, got the uh, torque wrench set to 111 foot-pounds. Gonna rotate the engine here soon. Basically, this is just pressing the crank on since it's a uh, it, it's basically hand tight. So, yeah, pretty tight. Yep. So, it did not hit. Uh, 111 foot-pounds by the time the rotating assembly started going, so I'm going to get this pry bar in and uh, get that torque down. Alright, 111 foot-pounds. Then we need to degree it. Well, I could not find my degree machine, uh, degreeer, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do it by look. Basically, 
just a little bit less than a 90 degree angle. I would say that is about 90 degrees or 70 degrees. Did about that much, so uh, should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil gasket on and the oil pickup tube on now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some RTV to this. Basically, it's gonna go on just like that. I got it wrong the first time. I had it flipped the wrong way, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this on now. Just like that. So once uh, I get the oil pan all cleaned up, it should be good to go ahead and put on here the... Now at this point, everything is torqued down. Uh, now we just need to get the oil pan on. So I'm gonna uh, pretty much end it off here. We're gonna need to clean up that oil pan. Also, I'm gonna have to add the uh, oil return bung for when we do the turbo. Uh, we're just going to have it capped off until that's done, but it's basically the last part that we need to do uh, to put this on and get this on the subframe for the Camaro. do have a little bit of odds and ends like those transmission support uh, brackets and uh, the starter, but uh, that's really it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. Thanks for watching.